What is up guys and welcome back to Geometry Dash. We are playing Dem Travel, a demon made by Sir Punch and this is another super long level. We can see XL length but this is really extremely long and honestly I'm excited because these travel journey levels are so epic. They're actually really epic so I'm excited to see how this one will be. Good luck, and I guess I'm gonna start, as always, without practice mode, but I will definitely have to use practice mode eventually, because I just can't do a, what, six-minute level just like that without practice. But of course, again, this won't be too extremely difficult, because you can't have a six-minute bloodbath or anything, so this will be a bit tame. The difficulty will be the length. And what do I have to exactly do here? At least I got past this first thing that killed me, which isn't really a problem, just do that. I think I just have to wait for a bit. I have to wait, use the jump orb a bit later, and then I should be able to survive. Let's see- no, I did it again. Oh my goodness. I like the song so far. I guess it's not gonna be a very slow level, it is a bit fast already. Journey slash travel levels don't necessarily have to be just slow, they're just long. Okay. And up here, so far so good. This is much easier gameplay and just as I say that I die. But yeah, I can see myself at least getting to, you know, at least a bit far without practice mode. As long as I still have fun, I guess. And here I just had to spam, but I stopped at some point, that was wrong. And of course the effects, oh my god, the effects. How can you even manage that? Such a long level with awesome effects everywhere. That has to be so much freaking effort. I can't even imagine creating a level like this. Now I have to concentrate, jump here, and then jump again. Ah, the shiny effects as always, so good. That's flying, and we're in a jungle. Whoa, oh my god, in a jungle up here, and then some gravity switches, and I messed up. I got tricked. I guess it was a weird trick. I could have seen that coming. I just have to let myself fall at the end. And we will see if I can get back there. It is pretty fun so far still. There we go. Back to this one, which does require concentration. I shouldn't underestimate these gravity switches everywhere, where you have to basically jump immediately as soon as the gravity switch I almost messed up because I forgot there we are now this this short part is it looks difficult but somehow I still do it so maybe it's not that bad then up again then a the gravity switch I love the jungle really awesome scenery and that was not fast enough and not not high enough I guess I was supposed to keep holding down jump but alright, I think one last time I will try to get back to the jungle and try to get further. And if I get to the jungle one more time, I will use practice mode. And with practice mode, we should be able to see all of the level in one go, kinda. And then really be able to practice and eventually do this on normal mode. Which is always the hardest part. Doing the whole entire long level in one go without any error. Not a single mistake. That's really the dif uh, that's really the difficulty here. And nice, we actually got back. Hopefully I won't mess this up. Nice, I did it every time even though it looks so difficult. Now up here. And here I have to be really high up so I can get over the spike. Yes, perfect. Into the white light. Whoa, oh we're going back. We're going back. Oh, I, I also love this if levels do this. If we go back and just backtrack through the entire level. It just feels nice. It looks nice. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. In a ball? In a ball? This is gonna be the final attempt before practice mode. So I'm gonna try my best to get as far as I can. Whoa! How did I s That was actually kinda right, I guess? But okay, as like I said... Gonna use practice mode now. That was so weird. How did I survive that? I'm pretty sure I messed up at that point, but like I said, I survived. Like, was that maybe a secret coin? Was that a secret? 
It could be a secret. I will definitely have to check that out when I get back there. But now at least focus on getting back to the jungle. Because I haven't practiced the jungle. I didn't really have the time to practice the jungle as much as this beginning. Even though I am still dying to the beginning. That also always happens. Once I go into practice mode for the first time, the beginning always kills me at least a few times. There we go. Can I do it again? I want to see this. No, of course, on practice mode, the one thing that never killed me will end up killing me. And down and up. And we're only, look at the, the percentage, we're only at 12%. This is such a humongous level. Alright, and we're already at the backtracking part. Is it me or is this easier? Yeah, the jump warps and I, maybe even some spikes went away. So it is a bit easier. That is more or less an auto part at the end. And now I want to see this again. Why did I survive here? Where was it? Am I already- Look- Oh, like it's not completely linear maybe. Maybe it's not completely linear. Maybe there are some extra ways you can choose. Yeah, look at that. If I- if I- if I do it like this. Maybe I can still save myself, but what you're supposed to do is do it like that. And then we are in a double ball part, which means I have to switch the gravity here. Sw switch it again here, or... No, you don't have to. And now I just have to switch the gravity. As it is obvious. Nice, nice, nice. Then a single ball again, which is gonna make it a lot easier. The music is not timed. But it's kind of time, but yeah, just because the music is going crazy doesn't mean the level will go crazy at that point, obviously. What now? I have to go up? Okay, I have to go up. Whoa, what? What was that? Can I just go? Look at that! What are the odds that it actually works? But of course, if I do it like that, I'm skipping... I'm skipping... Wait, I want to see this. I'm skipping the UFO? That actually works? Should I try this? Just for fun. If I go here and then here and then up. Okay, I don't think that's really possible. So I will use the UFO. All right. Then I have to go down. I have to go up with the gravity switch. So I have to go down. Ah, 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 you see where you have to go because the lasers. There are some red lasers which show you the right way or the wrong way. So you can know where to go up here. And then, of course, there's no gravity switch, so I just have to fall down into here. And then keep away from the red lasers. Ah, okay, and the yellow lasers, of course, they show me the portal. The yellow one is a gravity switch. Alright, and I, I keep forgetting the gravity switch. There we go. Now I understand this is again going to be a gravity switch and a mini form. Oh no, we have moving blocks. Moving blocks. I have to see where the right the safe the safe spots are down here. And now it's a double ball part. Oh, this looks nice. Look at the background. That little symbol. But this looks like a very easy part. Oh, auto part into a robot. <laughs> Damn it, I have to time that a bit better and then jump immediately again. So, like that, I, of course, and then jump again. And then it's a, a normal wave into a mini wave. Again, into a normal wave, so like that. Oh my god, okay, this is a bit confusing. I guess this is gonna be the one, like, one of the hard parts in this fairly, like, medium, I guess it's a medium difficulty level. Mainly because of the the length, and I have to jump here. And what now? Ah, there's a there's a jump orb. Wait, I have to jump and then jump again, and then somehow get into that. Wait, if I I have to time it right so I can, damn it, get directly into the UFO and then perfect, and then don't use all the jump orbs. 
Maybe just the green ones? Looks like that was right. Perfect. Another robot just... Wow, and I didn't even notice that. Look at the background. That goes... Wow, it's going insane. That looks really good. And I have to... I don't have to jump. Wait, I'm not supposed to jump. Am I supposed to jump? Or actually, am I supposed to jump? Yes, I am supposed to jump, right? I'm supposed to jump here, jump here. And then like that. Oh, that was a bit tricky, but I did survive. And then, whoa, whoa, wave, wave. No, and then gravity switches, which I have to deal with. So I have to first press nothing. And then hold. Okay, and then? Ah, right, there's an orb, of course, there's an orb. Right? Th there should be an orb. Finally, there we go. Not even at half. Like, we're just now getting to half, and I want that coin. How can I get the coin? I have to jump at some point. I have to jump over this, and then... Okay, just jump over the blocks, and I'm gonna get the coin easily, if I remember this. I'll jump over that. Probably jump over again, yes. It does give you enough time to see it coming. Especially with the exclamation points. Oh. Oh, another auto part? Man, this is long. This is actually super long. Of course it's gonna feel longer because it's my first time. But even so. This is a humongous level and I'm excited. Oh, a mini wave, spamming. And a gravity switch. And another mini wave, alright. Oh my god, this looks so good. This looks so nice, like the galaxy or sky in the background. Oh. Okay, so far so good. I'm actually doing good with the... Ah, with the gravity switches. That one did kill me. And now I'm dying a lot, but still. I'm doing better than I normally would with gravity switches. Oh, this is a bit tight. But nothing too bad. All... Right, into a ship, yes. A double ship. What? Is that bad? Is this just an auto part? I have to avoid the lines. Oh my goodness. Just avoid the lines. Uh, but of course, yeah, I have to focus on both. I have to focus on both so I don't accidentally get my other one into danger. Oh? Do I? Yes. Go up now, go up again into the middle. Always look at both, but... Alright, 70%, we're getting close to the end. Shouldn't be much longer now. Oh my god. The earthquakes, which... Oh my god, almost, almost messed me up. And now I jumped over the earthquake. Never press jump. If you press jump, you will actually die. Oh nice, but here you actually have to press jump. You have to avoid the earthquake, that's so clever. Now up here. All right. Oh, and another earthquake. But here I have to jump, okay. What's that? Whoa, a double wave. Oh my god, nice. Oh my god, that looks like... Ah, that looks like Verity. Doesn't it? Ah, oh, the red, ah, oh, the flashing, that actually looks so nice. I can't stay in the middle if I want to, but yeah, I probably shouldn't. That makes that makes it a bit harder for me. And then I have to go up into here. Then just, uh, I guess an auto part, more or less. Down. Oh no, I have to think with the gravity switches. These gravity switching pillars. Ah, I hate that. I That actually I have to do in one go. I cannot deal with it if I just... Save all the time, that was the worst save. An impossible save, even. So I have to wait, I have to go up. Then I have to let myself fall into a gravity switch. Which, oh my god, and then just the gravity is going insane. That will take a bit of practice until I can do it. Nope. I forgot again, that's not a gravity switch. Again, oh my god. <laughs> I cannot keep... Making the same mistake, are you serious? There we go, and then I have to use the jump orb. 
come on. Up to here. That's a uh, UFO. Th there was a. Is it a UFO for a bit? Or am I just seeing things? Never mind, we are in a wave. That's the important part. But yeah, that's way easier now. This will have some really hard parts, but then some parts which are more or less a break. 90% this should be the end soon. We're so close at the end. Oh my god. The black flowers do not kill me, thankfully. 94, 95. We're getting so close. We're getting so freaking close. It's amazing. Always keep on the blocks. And you won't die. And of course up here. Oh my god, four triple spikes, which won't be too bad, because we are in a robot. And that was them travel. 137 attempts with practice mode and the normal mode attempts at first. This is gonna be fun to practice, but the real challenge will be to pull off one big attempt where I do the entire level without any mistake. Okay. First attempt after some practice, and I did practice a lot, but you can't really practice too much, especially for levels like these, because you will have to concentrate for six whole minutes, just complete and total concentration. We already know the beginning, so that shouldn't be a problem. How far did I get? Like 20%? I shouldn't die until I get there. And we will see how far I can get on my first attempt after the practice session. Now the jungle. First part. Okay, good. Did the first hard part. And I do know where the first coin is. Right here. Very well hidden, in my opinion. And now it should be easy for the next, like what, minute? Or even two minutes? It's a really relaxing level to play. It's just relaxing. The music, of course, really helps with the atmosphere. Now, I do have to concentrate a little bit here. This ball part is a bit tricky. Especially the dual ball part. Okay. Everything should be good. Now we are again at the easy part. Into the UFO and up. Now, what? No, it was so good. It was such a good run. It was so relaxing. And then I suddenly died there where I normally never die. But okay, that was good enough for the first attempt. And we're back. And this time, hopefully, without the death. There we go. Alright, now we are in the safe spot. I should be able to do the UFO part. I'll stay in the middle, more or less. Now up. Okay. Down. Then middle again. Down again. Then into here. And then spam. Very nice. The easy break. This is really the break. Here you can just take a breather, enjoy the music, enjoy the graphics and the effects, and prepare for the upcoming part, which is super hard. Wow. I no! I didn't see the jump orb. How did I not see the jump orb? I just completely forgot that existed. Oh god, but that was good. I did the probably like one of the hardest parts in the level. I did that first try after practice. That's pretty good. Oh, nice. 
Got the coin. Perfect, perfect. Oh my god, that was... Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay, calm down. Half. 50%. Really good so far. Break and auto part. So important that those little auto parts are there. Just to catch a breath. Oh my god, let's see how far I can get. Come on, come on. What? What? Um... I did not know that this was this insane. In practice, the effects were not this crazy. What? This is so much harder. I cannot see anything. Goodness. But somehow I'm still doing it. What? Oh my god! I was actually so close! What was that? It was so different! It was so different from practice mode! All these new effects! Okay, I didn't- I completely did not expect something like that! Wow! No, again! Where you again? The same point! Somehow, I just- my finger just gives up. Just too much spamming at that point. Just it's complete stop. No! Oh my god! Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. Yes! Oh my god, okay. That was it. All coins, thank god. That was a good attempt. I'm so glad I got the last coin. So glad that it worked out. Wow. Beautiful level. Beautiful level. Them travel made by Sir Punch. 412 attempts. It got kind of difficult, you know, I am actually super nervous. I may not sound sound as nervous as on other levels, but I am actually kind of freaking out. That last part, when you get there, you are just so super nervous, especially if you go for the coin. Holy moly, that was amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked this video. And until next time, take care.